as many of you know, there's this phenomenon, or whatever you choose to call it yourself, that, that's that been going around, uh, and it's globally, um, of num number manifestations. And I, I'm going to attempt what these numbers, like 1111, and, uh, you know, double numbers, 33s and 22s and, and all that, what they actually mean to me personally and what my perception is of it. And, uh, you, you know, I've been getting these numbers for a couple of years and they, they're not just by chance. There's no coincidence in it. The people who actually get this, it, I mean, it, it's globally, globally, the people are, are constantly talking about it. And it seems to have flared up again now, this time of year. Um, it, it was like this this time last year in around spring. And now it's like, like it in August. And it's been really, really strong for me. Way beyond coincidence. So those, those of us who, who get these numbers, um, we know that the, the odds are astronomical. The, I mean, we're talking millions to one and, and sometimes like for me the last two days I would say billions to one um, I've been I've been getting all the numbers that I was getting last year uh, all over and over again and these are numbers like 1111 1133 1122 411 333 311 you know 711 all, it seems to be a lot of 11s all the time or 22s and 33s so it, it seems to be those numbers and doubles of some format or another and one of the I've been sort of doing a process of elimination so rather than just go out and make a video on this straight away and say oh my god I'm getting all this and, and come out with a load of all rubbish that's just made up at the moment I decided to, to leave it a couple of years and just try and explain you know, do the process of elimination until I come up with something that's quite feasible that 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 we can all understand because we we need an understanding to these numbers. Everybody's running around with their own personal views, and and that's great because it is obviously what it means to us personally. But I got something. I think I cracked it. I think I've actually got what this means. Now, I've ruled out the significance of the time itself. So let's say it was eleven eleven. I've actually ruled out that that time itself and the way I've done that is when we see these numbers they don't just come in uh, on a watch or on a, uh, a phone or anything like that they don't crop up on a clock they can cr crop up anywhere that it can be the mileage on your dashboard of your car it can be um, the, the price of petrol in a garage that I had today um, it can be I don't know, and anywhere, anywhere where you see numbers, you will get the urge to look and then it happens to be the numbers that you always see. And so, so it, it's not just the time format, that, that, that ruled that out straight away for me. So, and then also of course there's the fact that even if you did look at the time and it was 11.11, .11, you may be looking at a watch that's just five minutes out from the time zone that you're in or, or things like that. So that, that rules out the actual time. The, so, so then I was thinking about the, the actual numbers themselves and what they mean, you know, what, what the actual numbers mean. And now I know there's these posts going around of, of angel numbers and things like that. Remember, this is per, somebody's perception, just like is my perception. You know, if we, if we do buy too much into other people's perceptions of what's going on and really read it as a, as, you know, as a couple of pages of facts, you know, this is fact then we, we go down a dangerous road of um, believing someone else's perception, which is basically what the, uh, there's a fly there on the screen. Um, it's basically what the, what the Bible is or the Quran or anything like that. You know, you're just reading stuff and you're just taking on someone else's belief system and then you're taking it as your own. Um, so you've got to be careful. It's, it's good actually, you know, the angel numbers actually does explain a lot of things to me. When I look at it, I think, yeah, that's true. But then it can be true, you know, we read these things all the time, like people who, who are psychic and all that, and they, they tend to tell you things that could be true for anybody in some form or another. So we have to be really careful when we're reading these things. And I tend to keep a bit of more of an open open mind. I'll read it and I'll take it in and I'll, and I'll see if it all rings true. And then I'll still keep my mind open to other things. 
So the significance of the actual numbers itself, you know, I'm still not, I, I've still not closed the door on that one yet. Only because all the, you know, everything that seems to be going on, like we, you know, we see 9-11 a lot, or I see 9-11, I know a few friends do all the time, um, and 11-11, and you think about points in history, like, you know, the end of the war um, for us in the UK, um, and then you've got, you know, 9-11 itself, and, you know, you look at that side of it, and you think, is it something to do with that? Have it been planted deep into your subconscious? And then you're you're seeing it because of that. But then there's other numbers, and they're all double numbers. I mean, there there was a video I done recently um, of the the fact that on Christmas Day for for in Greenwich Main Time, um, on Christmas Day, the end of a seven year cycle, lunar cycle, uh, ended at eleven eleven, and a new cycle, the new seven year cycle began, and that was eleven eleven on Christmas Day. Now, when you think about energies and things like that, and, and, and the magnetic pulses that, that are probably coming from the moon at the time and raising the frequency of the Earth, and then you've got Santa bringing gifts from the North Pole, um, you know, and sh showering us with gifts, and this could be the energies that are created at the beginning of a seven-year cycle, being careful what you think about, and then the, these gifts come via electromagnetic pulses from the North Pole. Who knows? You know, this this is just one of my um, one of my thoughts when I was um, you know it was, it was passed on to me by a good friend, and I, and I took it as far as I could, and and that's what I come up with. But it doesn't seem to ring true because there can't be that many dates, double numbers everywhere. You know, you, you're not going to get if you say you see twenty two thirty three, then you're not necessarily going to get that in date format. So it's sort of, you know, it starts clouding those things, that, that way of thinking. So then I went off down other paths and, and um, you know, I, I mean, many people, that so many people are ready to um, to put down um, people, those of us who do see these numbers, you know, they'll they'll say things like, well, it's just um, your perception. You, you expect to see those numbers. So when you look around at loads of numbers, you just pick out the ones that actually mean something to you. I just looked at the time of the video then. I thought, wow, what am I doing? 7.33. I arrest my case. You know, this is ridiculous. It gets way beyond everything. And, you know, you when you're looking around and you just get prompted like that, like exactly like that, I can't believe it. You know, exactly like that. You, you sort of get a prompt in you and you think, oh, better to check to see how I'm doing. Or, or, you know, better look at the time. I haven't looked at the time all morning. I may as well look at the time. And you look there and it's 11.11. .11. And then, you know, you, you, you sort of think, oh, I'll be having dinner soon, like it's sort of 20 minutes later or whatever, and you're looking at it's 11.33. And, and it's just continuous. Yeah, I mean, for, for me personally, at this precise moment, it's never been so strong as, as in years. Um, it's almost a continuous thing. Um, and what, what you realise is that these people who sort of say try and put you down and they say just switch your phone off you know then you won't have a problem you've got no problem with numbers anymore and they get quite annoyed and they say that it's down to perception and things like that these are the people that are not actually experiencing it you know they, they don't they just don't get what we see um and, and that's fine i got i've got no problem with that I, I i never get wound up by anybody disbelieving me or anything like that, that because that's up to them it's not my job to convince anybody of anything. I, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in being a ruler, a leader, anything like that. I, I'm, I would run a million miles. I, I would back down from social media in, in its entirety if I started thinking I had a clan following me. This is the type of person I am. I just want to try and make sense of this in my life, you know, and, and share my personal views because a lot of people out there, they, they sort of respect me enough to, to get be inspired by me and, and sort of, think yeah you know I can see that being true um, this is why I explain what I explain so going back to the numbers and things I tend to go uh, the way that I'm thinking now is that and, and I've been like this for a long time and I can't I can't disprove it because it always seems to be very powerful times when we see these numbers we are almost at a stage of um, 
those of you who, who sort of look into the, maybe the law of attraction, manifestation, um, whatever else you may want to call it, there's, ma there's many things that you can, uh, you know, that people call it today. Um, but whatever, whatever, pro or your creator, I call it my creative ability. Um, whatever you want to call it, you know, there, there, there seems to be a lot of um, people who are experiencing that and proving it to themselves, which is a really good thing. And one thing that I've noticed with my personal creative abilities, as in creating my own reality, is that when these numbers come along, I seem to get what I wish for. Not in a, I wish I could get something one day or this one day or that one day, but I seem to, whatever I seem to focus on and think about as being the case, like the reality and a type of knowing, um, it seems to come true. So what I've, found is is that when these numbers come along and we, we see these numbers what I've pinned it down to is is we almost expect or we, we're putting an intention out there through our thoughts because we're telling ourselves in our mind I always see 1111 I always see 733 whatever it may be and when we put that intention out there through our thoughts through our mind and through knowing because we know we always see it because we tend to keep seeing it and keep seeing it. We actually become that, it's our creative powers at that time, at this point in history, or that point when we're actually speaking that, is so powerful that nature itself turns around and goes, oh, okay, so this man or woman, they want to see 1111 all the time because they said, I always see 1111. And then you get a prompt wherever that number may pop up you you get an urge to look you just get this inner urge like you you might spend like me personally being self-employed i don't need to look at the time time don't mean anything to me i don't even have break what's the point of having breaks and going home you know later i might as well stay away from breaks and then go home earlier so there's no there's no set dinner time or break time or anything like that you just feel a bit hungry and then you check the time so you might get things like this happen, and, and it always seems to be on these times. It's, it's not. It's, it's way beyond coincidence. So, because I've told myself I always see eleven eleven, I always see eleven thirty three, three thirty three. This is the time that nature goes right. Okay, there it is. It's on his phone, or it's in on the clock on the wall, or it's. Or he's driving past a fuel station like today for me, where the fuel price was one eleven point one. Um, and you get a prompt to look around. I never look at fuel prices. I, I don't care. There's any pennies in between all the fuel stations in the country. It doesn't make much difference to me. So I just, you know, but I looked and there it was. And you realize that what you're actually doing is you've fine-tuned your, you, you've been given the powers of creation. And in these times when you see these double numbers you seem to be very powerful you can create you, you can purposefully create things that don't actually exist in this in your reality you can purposely put that desire out there and that you know that that question in your head you know oh, i wonder if this is this and that's that and then you start to know and then all of a sudden it does actually come into everything to fulfill that what you thought about comes into your life and it's like a gradual process. So what I would say is, is it, it's, it's a sign that we are creating our own power. Basically, we're creating our own reality. And we're, we're so powerful at it that it's almost instant that we, we're, we're getting these, these you know, um, urges right at the right times to, to, to look around at all this. Because that's what we expect. And that's what the universe is offering us you know because we we are part of everything that's around us so he's going right nature says he expects to see that there you go there it is so what you've got to do is and, and, and give it a try for yourself is expect something that isn't your reality expect be brave you know try and try and create something that you feel really passionate about and, and you really um you know feel good about try and try and create that as a thought process in your head and work yourself up into a frenzy 
where you're convinced that it is reality, where where you sort of know, yeah, that's it. It is that that is right. Try and do something that isn't, but you sort of you can convince yourself that it is, and then it does become your reality. Um, and at that point, when I mean the point when you reach when you do that for the first time, um, there's nothing like it because you prove you prove to yourself that you are the creator, you are the master of your own destiny, you you are all you'd ever want to be.